Do you even know what Pumpkin All The Things is? Well, we're gonna show ya! Oh, look! Pumpkin stuff. Uh, uh, there is caramel apple and butterscotch. Oh, butter. Butterscotch. Butterscotch M&M's. So it's not Pumpkin All The Things, even though mostly pumpkin. Caramel apple, Hostess cupcakes. Pumpkin spice. Pumpkin spice. Pumpkin spice. Pumpkin spice, pumpkin spice. Pumpkin spice? Pumpkin spice? Pumpkin spice? If I was a spice girl, I would be pumpkin spice. Tell me what you want, what you really want. Oh, I want pumpkin so, spice. We're pumpkining all the things again. This is part two. Part two of, of pumpkin, pumpkin all the things. So I found some fun pumpkin flavored items for us to try and let you know what we think about. Well, hopefully they're good. So we have the classic Keebler fudge stri stripes but in pumpkin spice. We got the Little Debbie's pumpkin spice roll, so instead of the traditional like chocolate one, it's pumpkin spice. Mm. We got my personal favorite, pumpkin delights. Pumpkin they're, delights, they're cookies. They're Well, they're like little pumpkin pies, yeah, they're aren't like, they? They're, they're almost like, they're soft, like they're like a soft cookie with like a pumpkin-y, like jelly filling mm. kind of inside. Like if you ever had like the Little Debbie's like fudge round things, they're kind of like, kind of like that, that size. That size, that soft but, consistency, but pumpkin. Caramel apple caramel. cupcakes. So like the classic Hostess like cupcakes, but in caramel apple. And then we got pumpkin spice. Pumpkin spice. And then we got burger spice. So which is the, the Halloween flavor that they're releasing this year. But this is the new flavor for this 2016. This is the new flavor, only at Tarragate. Is it only at Tarragate? I think it's only at Tarragate. Hmm, comment down below so you know if it's only at Tarragate. If it's only at Tarragate. So what are we gonna try first, babe? I don't know, what do you want to try what first? What do I want to try? Pick your poison. Mm. Pumpkin spice flavor. Well, I feel like maybe we should start with the fudge stripes since we can have one of each of those. I kind of want to, is it okay if I split one of these with you? Because I don't think I can eat a whole one. The last video we did on this, we kind of went in the sugar shock. I actually woke up and I felt like I had a hangover the next day because we, well, we also filmed the same day. We, we did the we did the, challenge. We did the 90s, 90s drinks that day. And then videos. we also filmed pumpkin spice part one. It was just a lot of sugar all at once. I woke up with the, the most gnarliest, it felt like a hangover. I literally felt like it was a sugar hangover. Sugar hangover. It was sugar, it was sugar I had a pumpkin spice sugar hangover. We have to take it easy on part two. And they look like, you know, the fudge. Same design. I like the cookie. Um, mm. It does taste like the traditional, just with the spice, like that pumpkin spice flavor. Like that artificial pumpkin spice flavor. Literally pumpkin spice. Does it have any pumpkin in the ingredients? No, it does not. No pumpkin? No pumpkin. Artificial pumpkin spice flavor. There's cloves. Nutmeg and ginger, mm. so it and cinnamon, so it does have pumpkin spices. Okay. So I could. It's not lying when it says pumpkin spice technically, because it's just a spice. I could down a row of these with with like a tall glass of milk. They're not. They're not bad. I'm pretty good. I give them a thumbs up. So All we're right. gonna split this. Yeah. So we're gonna do the little Debbie pumpkin roll. Pumpkin roll. Whoa. Let's throw it on As you drop it. Or let's throw it on the floor. Throw your pumpkin on the floor. Throw your pumpkin on the floor. Yeah. <laughs> So it's like the traditional like roll. It's got the chocolate swirl. Don't they do like a strawberry roll? Yeah, they do. I was like throw the icing a little bit. It's got the icing a little bit on the bottom. I like it. It's not as harsh. The traditional ones like it's really chocolatey. Mm. So when you get it, you're like. Ooh. I'm used to the... It's nice and light. Yeah, it's very light. It's not really heavy on the pumpkins. For those of you that don't like pumpkin, Fun I would recommend this for you. I give it. I give it a thumbs up. I give it a thumbs up. I think it tastes really good. I, I could totally... Like, the cream is not overly... I mean, it's sweet. I don't know if the cream is, like, pumpkin spice. I don't think I it think is. it's just the cake part. I think it's just vanilla, and then the cake part itself. If you see on this one, it's just... It's got a little bit of, like, pumpkin spice going on. I'm saying if you have pumpkin in it. Survey says... No pumpkin. No just pumpkin. Spices. Just spice. So it's got cinnamon, ginger, nutmeg. No all spice, but it's got pumpkin spices. The spices, not actual pumpkin. The spices. It is pumpkin spices, just no pumpkin. Let's do some. Ooh, just Ooh, Do they still melt? Yeah. Oh no! Oh no! I'm losing. I got a. It looks Hands. Like, it looks like a deer pellet. Yeah. If you fo if you do it this way. <laughs> Here's the inside one. It's so all. It just looks like a white chocolate. Yeah, I mean, like... no. Kind of tastes like a white chocolate. I mean, 
but then you get the butterscotch. Yeah. Part. I don't know, like the syrup. You know how if you order butterscotch macchiato or something and they do the pump? Yeah. It tastes like that. I don't like it. Not yeah. the best yeah. ever, but I actually I find get... myself wanting to eat them. I generally do not like these. I have not gone back for another one since I just... I have. Even though I don't think they're genuinely the best thing I've ever eaten. No. They're not the grossest. They're not... If you like butterscotch, they're the, a little too then sweet. this is the M&M for you, but... I never really like butterscotch. I like butter. I like but actual butter. It's a personal preference. So for me, it's a thumbs down because it's just a personal preference, I guess. But I was like, if you need to sit there and fuck with <laughs> I don't think they're the best things in the world. They're a little too sweet. Yeah, that, that's the other M &M. thing. It's the other thing that gets me. So on. I don't know. I want to give this one a half or or uh, uh, our half Yeah. So we're gonna need an insulin shot now. Ugh. Do you want to split one? We're not gonna. Yeah, we'll just split. One. I was gonna say. I'm already getting uh, the sugar, the sugar sweat. Yeah, the sugar sweat, I guess. Very festive. This is the Carmel apple, apple. One, right? Yeah. Yeah. Air pulse. Air So pulse. the inside, you can tell it's not white. Regular like white cream. Yep. To me, it smells like breakfast, like maple syrup. Maple bacon. <laughs> not maple bacon, but like yeah. something with maple syrup, like a pancake. Uh -huh. You can taste a little hint of the apple, but not yeah. really, like, really, really mild. You yeah. taste a little bit of apple, mostly caramel. I'm tasting, I'm tasting mostly the caramel. Yeah. I don't really taste too much apple in it. I don't smell apple, you know, I just smell that. I just smell artificial like caramel. The art, yeah, the, like the caramel, you know, the caramel that smells like maple to me. Oh, well, no apple. <laughs> I love how everything we've tried so far has none of what it says should be in it. So it just has spices, but no pumpkin. It'll be interesting to see it when we get to the pumpkin delights. If I mean, this has a lot of junk really pumpkin. in it. Has what? A lot of junk in it, but that's because caramel usually has a lot of junk in it. Yeah. Partially pr produced with genetic engineering. Mmm. <laughs> Hang on. Oh, that makes me feel so much better. We're gonna grow like a third arm, like, tonight. I get, like, what would happen if, like, you ate this all the time? Like, we don't eat this stuff all the time, so. I don't know. It'd be interesting. Maybe that's why I end up with, like, a hangover the next day when I eat this stuff. It's because my body's not used to it. And it's like, what is this modified engineered thing you put in my body? Mm. Um, Should we just spice? continue the... Yeah, just sharing is caring, y'all. Yeah. So this, I'm a little apprehensive about. Right? Oh, I love this because it's pumpkin spice. Pumpkin spice. Pumpkin, all the things. Mm. They just go with it. I mean, I'm sure I've said this before, but she's a bigger proponent of the pumpkin, all the things. Um, I come along for the ride, but it's not my favorite thing. If I'm going down the pumpkin and spice rabbit hole, I'm taking you with me. <laughs> I'm taking you guys with me. <laughs> so you can definitely smell like the spices. It smell. It smells definitely like cake, like pumpkin cake. Yeah, well, it's or... probably a spice cake. Yeah. I know pumpkin in it. That's funny. As is tradition. What's the verdict? No pumpkin. I figured. I don't even see the spices listed. <laughs> oh wait, no, I'm sorry. Contains 2% or less pumpkin and puree. 2% <laughs> or less. <laughs> I definitely... You know what it is? I taste too much of the spices in it. And not enough of like the they cake don't even or the pumpkin. On the ingredients. They That's don't. The it tastes really spicy. Like yeah, it does taste really spicy, but I don't know how. Well, it's over with the modify in it, you know. Well, it is served with parsley and produce yeah. and genetic engineering, and there's a, to a whole bunch of things like a bunch of dyes, like yellow dye number five, yellow six, mm. red forty lake, blue two lake. What the hell is that? Oh, uh, it's um, just it's just not. I just don't. I don't like it. I don't think it's bad. It is a little spicy. Yeah, it's just way like they, they went a little overboard with like the spice like part of it. Spice part. Yeah, like, they, I'd rather taste more of the pumpkin. I'd rather taste more of the cake and the pumpkin and the frosting than all that spice because that's just really like it's hitting the back I don't of my throat. Know the, the icing part that makes it taste. Make it that like, spicy? Maybe. I think it's the icing part. I think if you took the icing layer off, the cake part's not that tart. Maybe. I'm gonna have to give it a thumbs down because reading this ingredient label just kind of made me a little sick because all the things that I can't pronounce and modified engineering. Okay. I have to give it a thumbs down based yeah. on that. So. Sorry. Sorry. Hostess. Sorry, hostess. Stick, stick to your guts. It means that with real pumpkin in it. Yeah. 
they are. are cute because they have little, like, they're supposed to look like a jack o' lantern, but they you just know what look this like looks a demented like? smiley face, like Twisty the Clown or something. You know what this looks like? All you'd have to do is modify it. It looks like Sam from Trick or Treat. Oh my god, yeah. So if you ever wanted to make a cake, you people at home with Sam's face on it, just get that and modify modify it as you will, but that's a perfect Sam face in my opinion. You just gotta put little stitching thing, little buttons. So pumpkin puree is on the ingredients list, along with molasses, which usually goes in cookies of okay. the spice persuasion. Okay. It does have pumpkin in it, and it doesn't say uh, it contains two or less. Excuse me. I think this is the first thing that actually, like, maybe there was one There was one other thing, there. I forget which it was here, but. So, actually contains pumpkin. Don't know how much of it though. Do you want to have one each or do you want to split one again? Um, let's split one again because that's got me really, ugh, like... We got a prize with this one. What is it, that? It pooped in its package. It pooped in its package? I'm going to save that one because it's special now. <laughs> it's special. Special. Pumpkin spice. Pumpkin spice. And everything nice. That's what fall is made of. Mm-hmm. I'm going to cut you in half. No! Free, 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 free. <laughs> So it, you could totally smell the molasses. So yeah, this actually. And the pumpkin. Yeah. It smells like as if it, I, like, you know, if I made a homemade. Cookie. Yeah, it actually smells it like smells a like real it. pumpkin pie. It's very chewy. I like it. I like them. They'll give you a whole lot of the filling. Yeah, there's part. just in the smile. Like. Mostly in the smile, yeah. Yeah, mostly in the smile, and it looks like they kind of like fold it over a little bit, like to make the face. So it's like a pocket. It gives me like I'm a big fan of pumpkin pie, like. Her pumpkin pie. So, pumpkin pie. so, like, I like pumpkin pie over all pumpkin things, but this more tastes like pumpkin pie to me. Like this. this is more fallish for me. The other stuff's just way too artificial, I guess. For but me, I, I think this is my favorite because it has those aspects of something I would personally make at home. Like, I usually use like molasses when I'm making spice flavored, like cakes or cupcakes. Mm. And pumpkin puree if I'm making like pumpkin cookies and stuff like that. Yeah. That's that one's probably this this is probably the favorite out of this batch. Yeah, I'm gonna have to agree with that. I did enjoy the pumpkin spice rolls. Yeah, I like the pumpkin spice rolls because they were light. And the cookies weren't the cupcakes bad. were just a little too sweet. Yeah. The butterscotch ones were really too sweet too. And the, the fudge ones were okay. Just you know you can't have a lot of them. Cause like after two you're like that. So what are your favorite fall treats? That you see all the crazy ones that you see in the store. Well, Comment you below. You see me, the crazy person in the store. So if you see me, say hi. <laughs> so did you like any of these? Do you have anything you want to suggest? Let us know in the comments below. So uh, until next time, remember. Pumpkins out there.